before I get into it, let me just say that it's really nobody's fault, you know, especially not the fault of the truck driver. Never gonna get it, 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 never gonna get it. Hey man, YouTube, what's shaking? Lockout Men, and welcome back to another Lockout Men's Travels video. And this is not even a travel video because I'm still stuck here at this damn place in Illinois, believe it or not. The restroom is all the way around this freaking monstrosity of a building, man. So you guys know, trucking, is stressful is not for everybody is mind-boggling it's just a lot of stuff that a truck driver do or go through on a day-to-day -day basis we go through traffic we go through appointment time we deal with shippers and receivers we deal with attitudes we deal with a lot of things some things that is not even in our control. So take this day for instance. I get a load that was to be picked up here in Illinois and to be dropped off here in Illinois. Quick load, right? You would think. I had a load yesterday that picked up in Illinois. No. That picked up in Ohio. No, 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 no. That picked up in Indiana because I had to deadhead from Ohio to Indiana. Picked up the load. Got loaded. Now, when I got there, it was smooth sailing. Got me in the door. They took about maybe about two and a half hours. Bam, bam, boom. Done. I get on the road with maybe about five and a half hours of drive time with about eight hours left on my 14. Good, right? So I went on ahead, dropped that load into Illinois. Oh no, Wisconsin. So I got up there to Wisconsin, dropped that load. And from there, I looked at my clock and I was like, huh, they sent me over here to Illinois. I was like, all right, cool. I will come here, get this load, and still take it over to the craft over in Aurora, Illinois. Two hours here and about 45 minutes to Aurora, right? All right, so I get here last night. Now, granted that the pickup wasn't supposed to be picked up at six o'clock. I was like, okay, cool. They was closed at 11. All right, no problem. I couldn't overnight here because it was a it was a gang of trucks here last night. 
that took all the available spots. So the yard is not that far from here. So I went over to the yard and shut it down there. About 5.30, 6 o'clock when they open. Soon. So I get in there, I sign in, and the young lady said, yo, we're gonna have to put you as a work in. No problem. I don't have a problem being the work in. Now let me explain to you guys what a work in is. If you miss your appointment, for whatever reason. And, you know, somehow they don't reschedule you for another appointment time. They will work you in. So you figure the couple of trucks that was there before you, they're gonna finish up with them and then come to you and knock you out and then move on. That, my friends, I thought was going to happen. Let me tell you what really happened. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Before I get into it, let me just say that it's really nobody's fault, you know, especially not the fault of the truck driver. You see what I'm saying? It's just unfortunate that, you know, a lot of the local guys, a lot of the, a lot of the drivers, you know, had, uh, had called off sick or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be to the extent of what's happening to me now. I made it here last night. I signed in this morning. Now, a lot of miscommunicati miscommunications is and misspeaking has come into play today you want answers I want the truth I'm under the impression of being worked in okay so I figured there wasn't no trucks here this morning or it wasn't as many trucks here this morning so I'm thinking Hey, they about to get in there, they about to knock me out, and I'm about to go. All right, so two hours became three hours. Three hours became four hours. So I made my first trip to the window at about 10 o'clock, 10.30. So I go up to the window and I go, hey, um, how much longer you think? Um, uh, they're still working you in, and, um, you know, they, they'll, they'll start on you shortly. Okay, now by that time, trucks came and trucks went. All right, so from that time, an hour, two hours, three hours later. Now, the second time I go up there, it's about maybe 12 o'clock, you know, a couple of hours later. So maybe 12 o'clock, I go back, and this is when I get my first call from my fleet manager. Uh, he he uh, sent me a message saying, yo, are, they, are, are you loaded yet? Are you half loaded yet? Are you getting loaded? What's going on? Take the pain. Take the pain! No problem. So I go over there, talk to the lady again. Now, mind you, this is first shift, okay? So I go and talk to her, and that's when she tells me, "Oh, they're they're loading you now." Oh, okay, all right, cool. They're loading me now. So I go back, set common back. They're loading me now. Now, while I'm sitting inside of the truck. It's funny because you could tell when you're getting loaded when the motherfucking truck starts shaking. So the truck was shaking. It was shaking and shaking and shaking and all of a sudden it just stopped. A few more hours pass. It's three o'clock. Shift change. Shift has changed. First shift gone, second shift is here. Yo, are you done yet? Are you done yet? What's, what's going on? So I go back up to the window. 
I look in there, I was like, oh, and I was like, uh, where's the other lady at? Oh, she's gone for the day. I was like, okay, well, cool. Um, she told me that they was loading me. Um, I, I just want to get a ballpark, an estimate, an idea of how much longer they gonna take to load me. So I was like, okay, well, they been loading my truck. They been loading the truck, right? How much is in the truck? Oh, your truck is half full. Hey, oh, okay, half full. How much longer is gonna take them to finish? All right, I'm about to go in there and, and I'm about to find out. She takes about 10, 20 minutes. She comes back and tells me that it's gonna take another three hours. Hey, Stella! Come on. How much is in the truck? I said, have y'all been loading the truck? How much is in the truck? Nah, the truck is half full. And I say, it's gonna take another two to three hours to, to finish it? What the hell, man? You was working and yada, 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 and all like that, this, that, and the other. And I'm going like, look, I understand. I've been worked in before. I've been worked in at plenty of places. Come on, guys, it does not take no damn near a shift. We're talking about a shift here. We're talking about eight hours. We're talking about... We're talking about practice, man. Uh, my day is gone. It doesn't take that damn long to load one of these trucks. I've seen it. I know that it doesn't take this long to load a trailer. I don't know what's going on in here. Maybe they had, maybe they have like less people working or whatever. See guys, that's all I want to know. I wouldn't be upset if you would have just told me that from the giddy up. I started tripping out when I seen trucks coming in and out, in and out, and I'm still in the door. So I go, I tell her, I says, yo, she couldn't give me a, a she looked like she couldn't give me a definitive answer. And I guess that's what was peeving me off. Usually I don't get pissed off easy, but. Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have fucked with? That's me. Not only that I'm pissed, but my fleet manager is pissed as well. Dude, I've been stuck in this damn door all damn day for, for a load that's only going over to Aurora. I could have got over there, I could have knocked out like two, three loads from Aurora to Champagne today. Oh man, I know what you guys gonna say. I know what you guys gonna say. Lockout men, don't you get paid detention time? Yes, I do get paid detention time. I will get paid detention time from the time I came last night all the way until they decide to finish loading me, okay? That's not the issue and that's not the problem. The issue and the problem is, is misunderstanding, miscommunication, mis telling me a definitive of when I'm going to get up out of here. I wish you was a wishing well, that I could tie a bucket to you and sink it. That's the problem. That's the issue. Now, the first time I came here, it was no problem. Got in, got out, boom. This is the place I was telling you about I had the blind side too. My fleet manager will take care of me as he always do. That's why I don't complain. I, I don't complain to him. My fleet manager is pretty much going through the same thing. It's not the fault of the driver for, you know, getting here late. I was gonna get here late anyway. I was coming from Wisconsin. So of course I wasn't gonna get here by no six o'clock. I'm here. I'm still here, trapped at this place. So that's it. That's what's going on, guys. Trucking. That's what it's all about. And you want to get in it. You want to get involved with it. You always ask me the questions like, yo, how much is it worth it? Yeah, it is. Days like this, you feel like it's not, but it is. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, 
that's it. If you like the video, like it. I appreciate it. If you guys want to hit me up, y'all know how to do that. You know, email, Instagram, all that good stuff. Talk to your boy. Um, I'm thirsty. I've been here all day. So I would appreciate if you guys hook me up with some coffee or some tea. The link for that is in the description and the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions about my company, JNR Sugar Trucking, feel free to hit me up on that. And I'll talk to you guys later. How much later? I don't know. Probably tomorrow. We'll see.